everyone, it's me Scooby, and today we're going to do some quizzes on my romance life, which I have none, but we're going to see what these quizzes say. Right now we're going to see, we're going to find out who my soulmate's name is. What am I looking for in a guy? Cute and nice, passionate, a person I can fangirl with, I like potatoes, or just hot. Huh. I like potatoes. Pick a word that describes you. Totally nerd, potato. Quiet, popular, want to be pretty. Popular, pretty, mature. Quiet and nice. Ooh. Mm -mm. I kind of want to say potato again, but I'm not going to. I'll go total nerd. Okay. What food do you feel like eating right now? I want to drink soda. Probably uh, like a pizza. A salad, thanks. Something simple but healthy. Or a potato. I like a potato. Pick a style of clothing. Same as usual, me. I don't know, some sweats maybe. Something comfy like a potato. Something cute, kind of girly. Mwahahaha. Star Wars fangirl stuff. Ooh, I have Star Wars shirts. A potato would not be comfortable. Hmm, same as usual, me. Pick a movie title. Taco Cat, Star Wars Return of the Jedi, Cute and Sexy, A Story of New York, Bruises and Fame, Life of a Potato. This quiz likes potatoes. I like Star Wars. Bye. Bye, potato. Bye. Bye or bye bye. Hmm. Hmm. This is very confusing. I say potato. Potato is my soulmate's name. I don't think anybody's named Potato, which means I'm going to die alone. That's right, your stomach is a potato. Your potato bay will always be loyal to you wherever uh, and would never ever cheat on you. He has a curvy round body with a blank expression. A very mysterious thing since he almost never talks. Love him, cherish him, and don't give up on your soulmate. It's true love till death. Sounds good. I'll take it. I'll take the potato. Okay, next quiz. Now that I know that my soulmate is Mr. Potato, we're going to find out when and where I'll meet my soulmate based on seven questions. How are you asking them out? Text, over the phone, in person, a big romantic gesture, a love letter, they'll ask me out. In person, over the phone, I guess this makes a difference of if you can actually meet the person in person or you have to meet them over the phone or internet. For instance, YouTube, you can meet all kinds of people and see all kinds of people and get to know them, but you don't see them in person. So let's do it over the phone. How long does it take you to get ready? 10 minutes, half an hour, an hour, two hours, all day. I have to get ready. Hmm, 10 minutes. Eh. Does this mean, like, a daily schedule, or, like, if you're going out on a date? If I'm going out, eh, half hour, maybe, hour, I don't know. Where are you going on your date? The movies, a nice restaurant, coffee shop, somewhere out of town, the beach, or the park? Ooh. Coffee shops are nice, parks are nice, beaches are nice, movies are nice. Food is always good, I love food. Somewhere out of town, I like all of these. Let's go to a coffee shop, and then we'll go to the park later, and possibly somewhere out of town. What will you talk about? Jobs, family, books, sports, travel. We won't be talking. That would suck. Let's talk about travel, family, books. Mm, I don't want to talk about books. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Let's talk about travel. How does the night end? A kiss, good night, a high five, a hug. Aw, do people really end their dates on high five? That would be interesting. With confusion. Definitely. Everything is confusing. Dancing around your room. Invite them over for coffee. We just went to a coffee shop, so there's only one reason why you'd invite them over for coffee. Hmm. Good night, kiss. Hug. Don't you hug and kiss? 
Uh, I'm already confused, so we're going with Liz Confusion. The night's over. How long did you wait to text them? They'll text me right away. The next morning, I don't. Whenever I think about it in three days. Now. Society says you should wait till they text you. Sometimes they text you right away. I don't know. In three days? We'll do that. Although, if you don't hear from them within three days, they probably don't want to talk to you. What do you tell your friends about the date? I don't everything about the food, about how awkward it was, about how cute they are, about how rich they are. That's horrible. I don't. In three years at a bar. That's not happening. I don't go to bars. Say, uh, I am destined to be alone forever. And in three years, I'm already old. Can't wait three years. I'm just kidding. I don't care. Alright. Now, we found out when I'm meeting my soulmate, my soulmate's name, and now we're going to find out how many times I will get married in my lifetime. Uh, how would your most recent ex describe you in the morning? I don't know. Not grumpy. Uh. If I had somebody that actually saw me in the morning, I'd get up and make them coffee. <laughs> I don't know. Sweet. Where would you prefer to go on a honeymoon? India, Las Vegas, China, or Hawaii? Mm. China. Nah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really care. Have you ever fallen in love at first sight? I've uh, fallen in love at first sight. I've fallen in love at first sight. Wait. Oh, I've fallen in lust at first sight. I've fallen in love at first sight. I don't believe in love at first sight. I have, but it was unrequited. Yeah. I'll go with that one. I don't know. This is so confusing. Would you sleep with someone on the first date? I have in the past. Why? It depends on the date. I wouldn't dream of it. I don't rule anything out on first dates. Wow. This is a very personal question. You should not be talking about your sex life on the internet. Uh, I mean, wouldn't that kind of depend on how long before you actually went on a date you knew the person or was talking to the person? We're just gonna... I guess that would be this one. Yeah. Which kind of pet would you prefer to adopt? Ferret, snake, hamster, or goldfish? Ooh, not a ferret. I like snakes. I just, I can't eat a snake, so. Okay, what is my current relationship status? Involved, hitched, single, and loving it, single, and not looking. Well, is there somewhere in the middle? Not exactly looking. I don't love it. I don't know. Eh. I think it's kind of the same thing. There's really only one person that I'd be interested in dating at the moment, and that's probably never going to happen. So. Single and not looking. Where would you prefer to hold a wedding ceremony? A cathedral, botanical gardens, the beach, or courthouse? Uh, the botanical gardens would be pretty. Mm. The beach? Would you like to have children? I have enough children. I wouldn't mind having one. I wouldn't mind a couple. No, thank you. I wouldn't mind kids. With my soulmate. I think that's what this quiz is, is my soulmate. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Buying a home. Have a home. Having a child. Starting a business. I'd be too old in 10 years to have kids. Oh, God. I don't want to think about that. Oh, uh, let's say starting a business. What do your co-workers like most about you? I have no co-workers. 
They think I'm nice. They like my work ethic. I'm not sure they like me at all. They like my sense of humor. love song would you have played at your wedding? Faithful by Journey, I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston, Take My Breath Away by Berlin, or Is This Love by White Snake? None of those. I don't even... That's just... Let's choose that one. I'm not even sure if I know which song that is. Would you write your own vows or use traditional vows? I'll cross that bridge when it comes. I prefer traditional vows. I'll use a mix of both. I prefer writing my own vows. I will cross that bridge when it comes. I mean, are you a good team player? I am better solo artist. I am great team player. I haven't had any complaints. Oh, I like this one. It depends on team. Which position do you sleep in most often? I sleep on my stomach, I sleep on my side, I'm all over the bed, I sleep on my back. I sleep on... I, I'm probably all over the bed, but I go to sleep on my side. How do you feel about public displays of affection? A little peck is okay. Some people go too far. I'm not that comfortable with it. Holding hands is fine. Eh, well, this is true. You don't need to show everything when you're out in public. Do you expect a date to pick up the bill? I prefer paying my own portion. I like to get the bill. My date better pick up the bill. It depends on the size of the check. Uh, I, it depends. I don't mind paying for my own stuff, and I've paid for other people before, and sometimes I've had people pay for me. So, I don't know. Ah! Uh, oh, I just highlighted stuff. I'll just do that. Which material would you like your wedding band? They didn't write that right. You made from. Oh, wait, yes, they did. Platinum gold rings cramp my style or white gold? Hmm. I don't really like gold jewelry. I have a gold necklace, but that's just because it's the Sicilian horn and they're supposed to be gold necklaces. But that's the only gold jewelry that I have. I, I like platinum. Those options matter. What? I like silver jewelry. But silver is basic and just fine. What class was your best in school? This is unfair because math and science were both like uh, my best subjects. But I guess math. Who will pay for your wedding? I will. My spouse's family and parents will. Hopefully, Santa bless you. Yeah, hopefully Santa pays for it. I'll pay for it. Why not? When is the last time you got lucky? That is none of your business. I don't kiss and tell. Getting lucky has nothing to do with marriage. Last night. Definitely not that. It's really not your damn business. How many one night stands have you had? None. Are you the kiss and tell type? Uh, it depends on who I kiss. I keep it to myself. I tell anyone that will listen. I might kiss and tell my best friend. <laughs> yeah, it depends on who I tell. If you're fugly, I'm not going to kiss and tell you. But no, I keep it to myself. It's nobody's business. It's pillow talk. Stays in the bedroom. Do you check a potential mate's zodiac sign? Yes. I check if they're being weird. I never check. I check sometimes. I always check. Good what do you think others like most about you? I'm confident, I'm stable, I'm loyal, I'm brutally honest. I am that. I am brutally honest. And I'm loyal. 
Uh, are you more dominant or submissive in relationships? I'm more dominant. I'm more submissive. It depends on my partner. It depends on the situation. I am definitely more submissive in relationships. I'm a people pleaser. Uh-oh. I went too far. Are you good at household cho chores? I have a cleaner. I'm great at them. I prefer my spouse to do them. I don't know, but I get them done. I'm great at them. And yeah, I would definitely make sure to keep things clean. Would you wear a white gown or a tux to your wedding? I prefer black. I sure would. It depends on which marriage. Which marriage? Oh, is this the how many marriages I'm going to have one? I would like something more colorful. I don't know. I wouldn't wear black to my wedding. Mm. See, technically, white's only something you're supposed to wear if you're pure and never done nothing before. So, traditionally, you're not supposed to wear white. Well, unless, you know, anyway. I don't know. I prefer something more colorful. Have a Halloween wedding and just dress up in costumes and do that. Cause why not? That'd be fun. How many days a week do you make your bed? Every day, most days, weekends are never. Most days? What is the first thing you do when you get home from work? Take off some clothes, make dinner, take a nap, or work out. <laughs> it's always nice to get out of your work clothes and put on some sweats or just go pantless, you know, for the rest of the day, because why not? Uh, probably make dinner. Are you easy to upset? Not really. Sometimes about certain things, yes. No. No, I'm really not. Hey, it doesn't believe me, Gabby. Calculating my results. Go back up. View my quiz results. I got zero. Just because you are not destined to walk down the aisle, it does not mean that you will not have meaningful and long lasting relationships. In fact, you may even make a commitment as serious as marriage. But you won't need a piece of paper to prove your love to anyone. You're old, you've always been unconventional and there's no reason to stop now. I agree with that. Especially nowadays. People live with each other before they get married and they're already doing everything you do when you're married. And a marriage is basically just a piece of paper, you know, to show the church that you're married and not living in sin or to use on your taxes. So, eh. Don't need to get married. So, why not? I'll just live in sin for the rest of my life with my soulmate. Alright, last quiz. This is the How Dateable Am I Actually quiz. That's just a really weird picture for this. I would hope you wouldn't need to shave your face if you're a girl. That would be weird. Too much testosterone in your system. When you have to make a meal, what do you do? Eat questionable pizza, make reservations, you could never decide, find a dinner date, make what looks good at the farmer's market, or best, oh, bust out the cookbook. Farmer's market's a good place to shop, but you need a cookbook to know what you need to buy, so we'll go with that. What are my career goals? Figure out what I want to do with my life. Consulting, something that lets you have a life. CEO or die, be popular, or whatever makes you happy. You should always do whatever makes you happy. You know, life's too short to stress yourself out nonstop over something you hate. What is your biggest flaw? Too predictable, indecisive, big flirt, too intense, where do I start? Too self conscious. Conscious. I'm not a big flirt. I don't know how to flirt. <laughs> not at all. I've Googled how to flirt. Indecisive sometimes. Uh, self-conscious. You're lost. What do you do? Ask someone hot for directions. Because if they're hot, they obviously know where they're going. I always get lost. I'll drive around in circles. I have an app for this. I never get lost. And I'll turn into a venture. Most people have a GPS. I have a GPS. My GPS gets me lost. And I turn into a venture. Because why not?
Got to make the best out of every situation, right? When do I want to get married? 25 or 35 or 50? When I meet the right person. First or second marriage. Next time in Vegas. I'm in Vegas. Never been to Vegas. Don't think I'm going to Vegas anytime soon. I'm in no rush. 37. Mm. I'm not in a rush. But if I met the right person and they wanted to get married, I would. But we'll go with that. How do you spend your Friday nights? Hanging with friends. Vodka. Just vodka. Drinking. Non-stop. Hanging with colleagues. I'm still deciding. Meeting a Tinder man. Something low-key. Something low-key. Describe my hygiene. Occasional. Which is yucky. You have a good routine. Clean up well. Pristine. Fine. Or you have a signature scent. Which means you stink and you need a bath. Pristine would be like, I don't know, your OCD and scrub everything all the time, which just, I don't know. I have a good routine. Pick a spirit muppet. Animal, Fozzie, Gonzo, Ralph, Miss Piggy, or Kermit. I like animal. Describe my phone etiquette. Your texts have perfect grammar. You listen to your voice modes, you respond promptly to text, you lose your phone, you don't mind nudes. LOL, sorry, just got your test text. I do lose my phone a lot. And I text, sorry, I just got you text people a lot. But that's normally just because I don't have my phone on me. Because I don't want to have my phone on me. If I do have my phone on me, I try to respond promptly to text. But this one definitely. Whoop. I'm a total catch. I'm a grade A dating material. The good stuff. The act. I was home of hashtag relationship goals. And the total package head to toe. Looks, brains, attitude. Like, are you even human? You are that perfect. See, I'm perfect. Perfect for dating. So, no. Hit me up. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, that's so nice of you, Quiz. Thank you. I feel so much better about myself since this random quiz just told me that I'm perfect and dateable. I'm still gonna die alone forever. Be alone forever. Die alone. It's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Alright, that's the last quiz. So, thanks for watching. Hope you like it. Like and subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!